Hello and welcome to a little bit of a pit stop from the series I'm doing on live mode. What's caused this pit stop? Well, I've had a question from one of our wonderful fellow subscribers uh, and uh, this is to do with getting the arpeggiator sequencer well, to do something different. And the request has come from um, one of the subscribers called Art Graph One, and he's made a good point, actually, or she's made a good point. Um, and that is, when you play the arpeggiator, it really just sticks your mind. Like it's four to the floor, four four. That's it, four beats, and you think you can't really do anything else. Well, there is a way of manipulating that sequence in the arpeggiator to get more varied. Uh, time signatures. So if we go for something quite straightforward like 3-4, the waltz, um, you get in music theory and uh, piano theory when you're playing, you usually play the beats quite strong. So uh, in a waltz it's strong, weak, weak, so dum, da, da, dum, da, da, dum, da, da. So that's your waltz. So if you put that into the sequence and you think right if I make the beat I want to be strong the loudest and everything else slightly less loud I'm going to fool the brain and the ear into thinking this is three four and if you set your sequencer to eighth notes it will actually fit in your sequencer to the three four if you see singers a three four this is what i mean if you look at each one of these and think right each one is a crotchet so we're we'll getting into music theory here so I'll quickly explain that um so each one's a quaver i should say um so a quaver is half a beat and a crotchet is a whole beat so you'll have three crotchets into each bar on a 3-4 time and conversely if you're the roll um, quavers you get um, you, you will get quickly do the maths here 2-4-6 into a bar so you get 6 into a bar so if we translate this into the sequencer here we look at this that is going to be one quaver that will be a crotchet that will be um, another quaver and another crotchet, another quaver, another crotchet. Now you start seeing a pattern here that, hang on a second, if each one is a quaver, that means I can set this to anything that's divisible by uh, three, really. So you're looking at three, that's, a crot that's going to be one whole bar of crotchets. That will be one whole bar of quavers. So. As a demonstration, we'll do 12 bars, uh, t 12 notes here. So we're going to look at four bars of waltz time. So when I say strong, weak, weak, I'm literally going to go strong, weak, weak. Uh, sorry, I need to make... All I'm doing there is double clicking, and that what that, what happens there is those ties the two steps together. So we go strong, weak, weak. So that's going to give you us two bars. I know I said we're going to go for four bars here. So what we'll have to do there, if we're going to go for four bars, we'll have to double that again to twenty-four. Um, whoops, don't want to do that. We'll quickly flick through this. Sorry, I'm about the explanation there. I'm doing this on the fly, so it's, uh, it's nice, real, and live. So, I'll quickly program a quick synth sounding. So here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
one, two, three. So just add a bit of variance into that to give you a, uh, an idea. Seven, uh, what are we going, 12. So seven, twelve, seven, three. I'm trying to get some up. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's how you get a three, four feel to your sequencer here. And so I don't bore you to death with putting this together. I prepared one a bit earlier. Um, that's going to give it away a game away of something else I've come up with. Here you go for. Uh, here we go. This is a melody in three four time, which is quite famous in uh, an old eighties film, Electric Dreams. Um, very often mistakenly transcribed to Johann Sebastian Bach but it actually by a guy called Christian Petzold um, and it's quite a familiar tune and it goes like this and that is 3-4 in a sequencer that predominantly sounds like 4-4 four, four. so can have a bit of fun just to close this one up and we get a bit of reverb and we get so I shall leave it there with a nice little melody as we play out and if you enjoyed this video give it a like ding the bell and you'll be told when the next one's available if you uh, want to leave a comment below on anything else you would like me to cover, I will certainly get onto that for you. And uh, subscribe to the channel, and your subscription does mean the world to us. Uh, we're now over 100, and I'm looking hopefully to get to the next 100. So thank you all for your support, and I will catch you again later.